Hello everyone, today I'm here to release a new version of the video How to Calculate Exact Square Root Without Calculator I have decided to do that because some people have complained about the audio that was not so good in the first video But before starting, I'd like to clarify that this method was created to calculate the square root of numbers that are perfect squares. Alright? Here we go. Let's see the first example. The first example is square root of 625. Firstly, we have to forget temporally the penultimate algorithm of the number. Secondly, we have to calculate exact square root of 6. However, 6 is not a perfect square. Now, I have to find out the perfect square immediately before 6. That is 4. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2. And I put here number 2. Now I have to find out one number from 0 to 9 that multiplied by itself ends in 5. That is number 5. Because 5 times 5 is 25. And 25 ends in 5. Alright? So, the square root of this number is equal to 25. Alright? Easy. Let's see the second example. Okay, let's look at the second example square root of 5476 as I said before first we have to forget temporally the penultimate algorithm of the number we have here number 54 and we have to calculate exact square root of 54 but 54 also is not a perfect square so we have to find out a perfect square immediately before 54 that is 49 and the square root of 49 is 7 we have to put here number 7 now you have to find out one number from 0 to 9 that multiplied by itself ends in 6. We have here number 4 because 4 times 4 is equal to 16 and 16 ends in 6. But in this case we have other option that is number 6 from 0 to 9 because 6 times 6 is 36 36 and in 6 also in this case you have two options it means that the square root of this number could see 74 or 76 
In this case, we have to test two options to describe the right answer. Like this, we have to test multiplying 74 times 74 and test the other option that is 76 times 76 all right 74 times 74 is equal to 5476 note that in this case I found the right answer doing the first test. In this case, it's not necessary to do the other test because I found the right answer. Right? But pay attention if you did the both, both tests and identified identify the, the, the right answer it means that the number is not a perfect square consequently the number has not exact square root alright I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed please give a like and subscribe on my YouTube channel, please. Thanks for watching, and I see you and next time. Bye bye.